Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Literally, this is insane. Absolutely amazing. You guys, stay on and watch the rest of the video because I have some exciting news and you honestly do not want to miss a thing. So keep on watching. Woo! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my brand new video today. In today's video, I literally have the most amazing collaboration today. Like literally, I am so excited to share with you guys something so exciting and so special, especially so earlier on into like my YouTube career. <laughs> literally, it's just great. I'm going to be doing an autumn inspired makeup look but I'm going to be using a very special product to create this autumn makeup look. So, In Stylish kindly reached out to me and wanted me to show you guys their special product right here and it's called the Not Basic Microfiber Sponge. Like this is the best beauty blender that I have ever used, I'm not even joking. I'm that kind of girl that I'm not very fast with my beauty blenders, I just literally just pick a beauty blender and go with it. If you've never heard of In Stylish, they are an American brand, absolutely amazing and I'm just so grateful that you guys reached out to me and I get to share it with you. Now here is their sponge right here and this is actually a sponge that I've already wetted so it's actually increased in size which is absolutely amazing and it feels so velvety and so soft have you ever felt like kinetic sand when you like push your fingers in it feels like that it's just so good quality and I'm so very happy that I have it I'm going to compare it with this original one. This is not wet, it's dry, but when you wet it, it literally enlarges. It's absolutely amazing. So can you see the sizes are different? You can literally just see the microfibers in its full glory. Like I'm going to compare it to this ordinary beauty blender right here that I got from like Superdrug a while ago and this is just your plain old beauty blender. So this one is very hard, um, it isn't really like good quality, it's more on the cheaper side of it. It has like no microfibers to really cushion your skin and make the makeup application sort of streak free. So if you want your very own beauty blender from InStylish, you can definitely use my code CANDY10 at checkout and you get 10% off of any of their items which is just incredible, it's a really good deal. They drop from $12.99 to $9.99 so definitely go and get yourself one of these because they're absolutely incredible, the best beauty blender for sure. Okay, so I've prepped my face, I've put all of my glow drops and the glow serums and everything and I'm going to go straight into my foundation. I am going to use my Collection Long Lasting Perfection. This is like my favourite foundation in the world, I absolutely love it. It makes me go even darker, well just a tad bit and everything. And I just want to show you guys how amazing this application will be when you use one of their sponges from InStylish. I'm literally going to take the tip and just dot it all over my face. Literally, the application is just so like soft. I feel like I'm smothering velvet on my face. It feels amazing. So yeah, definitely go and check them out because they are absolutely amazing. I will leave their link down below for you to go and see, honestly, for a Christmas gift for someone or something like that, birthday present or whatever, get them this product. They will love you even more. <laughs> so I'm going to just do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do a voiceover. Um, so yeah, let's go. So hello guys and welcome to my voiceover, it's literally the first time I am ever doing a voiceover so I'm just going to see how it goes. So first I'm going to apply my Wet n Wild concealer and I do not know the shade of this, I got it in America some time ago so I'm just going to go with it, I'm going to apply it on the necessary areas of my face, you know, the usual ones, like down the nose 
um, under the eyes, the chin and the forehead. I've got a photo shoot tomorrow so I don't really want to um, do too much coverage but it looks like I'm going to have to do it and hopefully it doesn't clog my pores. So next I'm going to go in with my Reloaded Revolution Neutrals 2 palette and I'm just going to go with like the darkish brownish colour and I'm going to put that onto my crease and just swipe it in the swiping motion <laughs> and yeah just to darken it and just to give it a little bit of contour. I'm going to take my collection hashtag face the day and this is sort of like a neutral tone palette perfect for the autumn weather and I'm just going to take the sort of the light pinkish color and I'm just going to use my finger and apply that onto my eyelid. Next, I'm going to go back in to my Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2 palette and I'm just going to pick sort of the orangey reddish colour and it's absolutely beautiful and I'm just going to also put that in the crease just to sort of do a jewel of colours. I don't want it just to be too brownish, I want it to be really autumnal. Is that even a word? I've literally got to find out if that's a word. Then next, I'm going to go back into my collection, hashtag face the day palette, and I'm going to take sort of the shimmery golden colour, and I'm just going to apply that into the inner corner of my eye, just to give it a little bit of a highlight and a glow. Next, I'm just going to line my waterline, just to give it a little bit more of an edge, and this is the NYC HD eyeliner, and yeah, I absolutely love this one. And I'm just going to take my little brush and smudge out the outer corner of my eyeliner just again to make it more edgy and defined. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm just going to take my spoolie and just brush my eyebrows up just to make them more fuller and more edgier if you know what I mean. I usually get my eyebrows done, like I get them professionally tinted, so I'm going to try and attempt to do them myself today, but usually that doesn't happen. So I'm just going to take my Birchbox monthly subscription service gift, and it's called the Cella Tantalizing Eyebrow. Um, yeah, so this is amazing, I absolutely love it. Next, I'm going to be focusing on my eyelashes. And I'm just going to go in with my favourite mascara ever, the Marcel one, and just apply that on my lower lashes just to make them more fuller. Next, I'm just going to bronze up my face. I really do love a bronzy face, and I do find that in the autumn, the bronzier the face, the better. You literally just came out of summer, so you might as well just bronze up your face all throughout that season. So I'm just going to take my bourgeois sort of bronzing palette. It's really like old, but I still love it. I'm not too fussy. So I'm just going to use my spoolie and just continue just brushing my false eyelash extensions just so they can look nice and even. Next, I'm going to take my favourite blush palette and this is like an old one that I've had just for ages and it's the Estee Lauder. I'm not too sure like the name of it because it's just back at my house and I'm kind of doing this voiceover <laughs> at another person's house. But yeah, it's a really nice one and I just apply it onto my cheeks and also onto my nose just to make it look more cuter. Next, I'm moving on to my lips, like the best part of my makeup look. And I'm just going to go in with this random purple, sort of maroony, brownish lip liner and that's just going to make my lips look fuller and juicier and bigger. Um, it kind of doesn't match with my lipstick that's going to go over it but I don't really have a colour that suits my lipstick. And taking a flat brush I'm just going to blend my lip liner into my lips just to give it sort of like a nice smooth effect. Oh my gosh, you guys, this 
lipstick is so old, but I just thought it's the perfect lipstick to go onto my lips and create this autumn look. It's like the natural collection. Do you guys remember the natural collection? Do they still do the natural collection? But yeah, I'm just going to apply that onto my lips. It's like a really brown color and I haven't worn this like type of color for ages, but I miss it so, so much. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that all over my lips. So the final step of this autumn makeup look is the lip gloss. I do love a juicy, glossy lip. It's like my favorite. So I'm going to take my Bourjois lip gloss and this is kind of like a brownie tint. So it goes perfectly well with my lipstick and I love it to bits. So I really do hope so I really, really do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to make. I absolutely adore this look. It's very sort of autumnal. Okay, is that even a word? Like, just comment down below. I really, really want to know. But yeah, it's a really nice autumn look. It's very warm. So yeah, definitely check out the Beauty Blender by InStylish. They do even more beauty blenders of different sort of materials, but they're absolutely amazing. Definitely check them out. They are an amazing company and yeah. So I will end my video here. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. Bye.